morning. So we've just got the girls to school. They're off. Uh, and literally pushed them out of the gate and shut the door on them and come back here. Mornings are the most frenetic time of day because we have a deadline. 8.35 and not one minute over. They have to leave the house on their bikes at that point. And breakfast is always a challenge. Our youngest is really fussy in the mornings about what she wants to eat and very often just says no and we can't let that go. So there's always a little bit of a tussle where mm, we got through that today. Um, but my wife woke up this morning with, uh, she's had wisdom teeth coming through here for about three weeks and they've just died down starting up on this side today. So she's in a huge amount of pain. Shona's not wanting to eat her breakfast. And then we decide, actually we got it all done. Great, we decide we've got a couple of minutes. We're just going to read through one of uh, her new books for school with her. Tilly, the older sister, came and joined in. She loves reading books, which is fantastic. And I want to encourage her, but not when I'm helping Shona identify words and Tilly's there going, it's this, it's that, it's this, it's that. And so in the end, I'd say, okay, you need to go. This is homework, it's not. Ooh, the huff. Oh, and by the way, go and get ready for school, okay? That's what you should be doing, coat on, shoes on, all that stuff. Instead of, sh she went off and played, I didn't realise this. Um, so, mum came in, having got all the bikes out, got ready, to find that Tilly's actually playing, isn't ready for school. Uh, Shona, as soon as we finished the book, she um, ran off and played as well, hid, saying, no, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not going to school. And what I saw was my wife absolutely at her limit. She exploded or got this close to exploding. So I exploded. I, I did that bit for her. You know, I like to be helpful and I'm the one that lost it. Ah, and that reminds me, it's, it's such a clear reminder of why I'm centering. All those little forces around us, all the time that we may or may not notice, whether it's just, oh, I haven't slept so well, or there's something in here that's a little bit, that takes up some of my capacity or whether it's just we've been pushing and pushing, let's get through, getting ready for school, and it seems to go well, and then something trips us up, like Shona runs off and hides. Or whether it's somebody else, whether my wife losing her cool. That was very clearly for me the trigger that um, I chose to explode at that point. And that is so not how I want my children to go to school. Leaving behind them in the distance, a uh, bright red, furious father. Uh, uh, steam coming out of my ears, that's great. <laughs> we will go to school, we might not come home though. Why would we? So that's not so cool. So I sent her to be a better father, among other things. Um, and I sent her to try to catch those moments as they bubble up. Hmm. There's another um, few minutes talk there, but I might come on to that later. I want to get into centering. Now you know why I do it. So uh, the same as last time. I think I'm just going to breathe up my back. I'm sitting now, so I'll just sort of notice my pelvis and then breathe up my back. Now my front, settling down. Breathe up again. Down my front, opening my chest a bit. Notice space to the left of me and the right. Opening to the space behind me and in front of me. 
reaching above me to the ceiling and below me into the floor. And then reaching inside, noticing where there's space inside. And then I let gravity have my shoulders, my jaw, uh, my tongue, my thighs. Mm. And then the question, what would it be like right now if I had a little bit more ease in my body in this space? What would that be like? It feels a really good way to reset before continuing the day. Hmm. See you later. <laughs>